Yo, Matt, you would not believe it, dude. Xbox Game Showcase just happened. It was sick. We got some Halo Infinite gameplay, finally. Yeah, I know how much you like racing games. There's a new Forza game coming your way for the Xbox Series X. <laughs> okay, well, what about Psychonauts 2? I know you like Psychonauts. The Obsidian Trifecta happened. Real shit? Oh, holy. <laughs> okay, I had to really, like, simmer down after that showcase, guys. I was so off the walls excited with everything that Xbox brought out. I read some feedback. I saw a lot of people wanted to see more gameplay. I totally understand that. That's a fair point of criticism, but from a standpoint of wanting to see particular game announcements, Microsoft checked every single Matty box from Stalker to the Outer Worlds DLC to Fable finally being confirmed to, yes, Avowed, Obsidian's brand new AAA RPG we can finally talk about it i was so 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 hyped to see this this was easily the announcement of the show for me and what xbox really did was set the stage for their future here where i can totally see a strong ecosystem being created but once again i understand the desire for more gameplay but today we talk about obsidian their brand new RPG, their Skyrim-like RPG. It looks so, so good, at least conceptually speaking. So let's come down to Earth, Maddie, or at least try to, and talk about Avowed. Oh man, let's go. So Avowed is a first-person RPG, and more interestingly, it is set in the universe of Eora. Now, if you're a Pillars of Eternity fan, that will sound familiar, but as rumored, as speculated, and as reported actually by myself on the channel just a couple of weeks ago, it is indeed set in the Pillars of Eternity universe. So yourself, me, we got to go out and play Pillars now, because we want to be familiar with what Avowed is is going to do lore wise story wise we don't know when and where in the universe of eora this game is in particular set but still we do have two games to go off of now but they're very different from what avowed is while avowed is a first person role-playing game pillars of eternity is an isometric style rpg made in the likes of say divinity original sin so personally i can get by that gameplay some of you out there i know aren't fans of this style of rpg maybe it's a little more hardcore or it's too slow it's too boring i understand i get that but it's a good style of game if you can really get into it. And I've heard some wonderful things, especially about Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire. So I will personally be picking these games up, finally playing them through. I was waiting for this announcement to see if the rumors were true about this being set in the Pillars universe. It is, in fact, the case. So I will be buying these games and playing them as soon as possible. It seems like we got some time, though, so maybe I don't want to rush straight into it. We'll talk about potential release dates later on in the video, but let's stick with more concrete details so we know it's set in eora we know it's a first person rpg it had skyrim vibes right away because it's a fantasy rpg and to me man that is excellent the elder scrolls is so far away right we're all waiting for es6 but we need more challengers and as far as i'm concerned in more recent products obsidian has really proven themselves to be a top tier developer a top tier rpg developer i've seen more and more as time's gone on People have had issues with the Outer Worlds. I understand that. I respect it. I don't think it's a perfect game, but I think it's a game that satisfied a void that has been in the industry for arguably like nine years at its time. So personally, I think they're on the right path. And the idea that they've gone from the Outer Worlds, which was clearly made on a budget, to something like AAA level with Avowed is so hype. Now, I want to return to a couple of pieces of art that I covered here on the channel a number of weeks ago saying that Obsidian's AAA RPG may have been right under our nose and that was when speculation was abound on them making a fantasy style rpg but was this particular artist really just working on something completely separate but it seems like the skeletons that we saw in the trailer do match up to some similar sense with what we see on the art here and if we take that and then we look at some of the different sets of armor here it is absolutely incredible what obsidian is building here there is such a style a flair to each of these pieces of armor I am just beyond excited. It feels like, in a sense, Fallout 4, except I have a better head on my shoulders here. Like, I'm able to be critical of things. <laughs> so, I have this legitimate, tangible excitement for the game where even armor is hyping me up. And I just gotta say, man, as someone who loves collecting 
all the weapons and armor in pretty much any RPG they play. The way that this armor looks in this game, I just, I wanna get my hands on it, dude. It looks, it looks so good, it looks so good. All right, so now let's start to narrow down a little bit of a potential release date. Avowed seemingly is a little bit further out. They didn't even give us a projected release date, but I think we can get a good idea just based off how general game development works. So Obsidian split up their staff a decent amount, right? Now we know there's a team working on Avowed. There is a team who is working on the Outer Worlds DLC, which we'll talk about in a separate video. And we have a team that is much smaller, and maybe that'll expand if the game's popular, working on Grounded as it stands. And they have about 200 plus people working at the studio, so they can only spread themselves so thin. And we don't really know the true size of what the Outer Worlds DLC will be. They said they plan two story expansions, and the word expansion is pretty important to note there. We don't know how big this actual DLC will be. But Obsidian was acquired by Microsoft in 2018. Matt Booty did say during the Microsoft stream that this was the game Obsidian pitched to them right upon acquisition. So if we take that at face value, at least to get some type of gauge on when this game began, it seems like it was at the start of the Microsoft partnership, which means this game has been in development for just about two years at this point in time, which would, for me personally, say that this is a projected 2022 release. So hopefully Microsoft and Obsidian give us intermittent updates. I think the way Obsidian's kind of structured their content's really smart. You've got a game known as Grounded, which can continually be updated and actually turn into something special because it's very unique and not like games Obsidian has normally made. On top of that, you've got two story expansions for The Outer Worlds, one coming in September. We don't know when the next one's coming or how big it'll be. So you have content coming from Obsidian in between these launches. This is how you do it, right? I always think back to the Bethesda Game Studios droughts where there's nothing for years and years on end. And because of that silence, because of that lack of discussion, expectations just unfortunately for the company continue to build because people associate silence with a sense of confidence and that something huge is coming and that when the reveal happens, it's gonna blow your mind. So the way Obsidian's doing it with intermittent pieces of content to the players, even if maybe you're not interested in the outer world or grounded, they're still in the conversation, they're still present, they're not just gonna disappear, hopefully, then I think they have a good setup here for a 2022 release date, all things accounted for. Now, the rumor that circled for quite a while when it came to Avowed between insiders that were posting things on Twitter and on websites was that Obsidian wanted to make their own Elder Scrolls, their own Skyrim. And I immediately, when we saw this shot here in the cave, sword in hand, spell at the ready, immediately thought of Skyrim. But I also got Lord of the Rings vibes too, which as a huge Lord of the Rings and Hobbit fan, I was ecstatic to really see something anywhere close to that. But seeing a spell cast on the sword, the way the spell was written out, there's that attention to detail there that I hope to see carry over into the full game. But when you really think about it, we had the Outer Worlds, which is more about hub space after hub space after hub space, created in the vein of, say, KOTOR. It's been since Fallout New Vegas that we've truly seen Obsidian take on an open world game. It's been a decade at this point, and it'll be longer than a decade by the time we actually hear more about this game and finally have it in our hands. That prospect alone is very exciting. We saw Obsidian really manage where their budget had to go with the Outer Worlds. For example, you see the melee animations take a step back in exchange for a lot of conversations in game and presenting the player a decent amount of choices, at least in the later part of the game. Up front, I think the game's a little too wide open and doesn't really account for many decisions with your character in the terms of builds. But now with a large budget, you could have two situations. Obsidian feels free and can actually make what they always wanted to make in a role-playing game, something that they've never really had the budget or the means or the possibility to do so, or they crumble underneath their own ambitions. And I feel like Obsidian has a lot of confidence. I believe in them because we've seen them make tons and tons of good games in the past. And I have to imagine they're hungry for this opportunity, right? I'm, I know I'm approaching this in like a sports way, like we're talking about some big prospect who's coming into like the NFL or the NHL and you're, and you're sort of just gauging on emotions, but that's really all we have to run off of here. But I really feel like they're hungry. They haven't had an opportunity like this where they can just dip into Microsoft's pockets and be like, all right, 
let's make something sick. Let's make a definitive RPG, right? That's what's also really cool about this. This is a Xbox exclusive IP as far as we know. And that means that Xbox finally has like a brand new role-playing game series. I'm excited for the likes of Halo and Fable but finally they have something new from a very talented studio and they're gonna make a very big game. That, that's the thing that I feel Xbox nailed. They may not have shown off a ton of gameplay, but we got a feel for their ecosystem, a lot of their studio acquisitions, what they're bringing, and just how bigger and better a lot of the games these teams are making compared to their previous releases. Like you instantly got a feel of the scope and scale of Avowed compared to the Outer Worlds, which was much smaller in size. So. That is where I will leave it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm stoked for Avowed. I guess this was more of a excited, freak out fanboy piece than a ton of information, but there's only so much we can go off of when we look at the trailer and some of the pictures out there, as well as release date speculation based off the acquisition. So hopefully you found this video helpful. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, not only on Xbox's games showcase, but what Obsidian has brought to the table for us. The Obsidian trifecta has been complete. Later on, we're gonna be talking about the Outer Worlds DLC. Man, what a day, dude, what a day. Really exciting stuff to talk about. So keep it posted here and I'll talk with all of you soon. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description down below. Big thank you to all the patrons who continue to just kill it with that support. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.